G'day, you got Queens and Kev. Just thought I'd give a quick overview of my brew in a bag system with rims. I set it up more for experimental beers, so if I want to test the recipe, or if I want to brew you know, a beer like Ambix, I don't want to do a lot of, but today I'm not actually brewing on it, I'm just going to give you a quick discussion on what I've done. So the main vessel is just a converted 50 litre Kegel. So you can pick them up, the import ones, pretty cheap. I've put in the bottom a 2000 watt UXL element. And to wire them in, we've just got, I've used actually two separate boxes. The cable goes in one and the neutral jumps over to the second box to pick up the terminals. The earth is just picked up on the side here of the first one. Pretty straightforward. This whole system is designed to make brewing simple and fun. There's better ways of doing things, but easy is fun. So step Normal little pick up, angled off the side. Now in this one, you can see there, I've actually got two return lines. The idea of having two return lines, the walk flows out through this tap, into the pump, back into here, comes up through this fitting, Probably give you a better idea. So most of the warp flows back in there and it faces from there straight at the heating element, keeps the warp turning over. That way it doesn't burn anything onto the element like a lot of rims can do, especially when you're doing your protein race. So probably two thirds, three quarters, I guess, of a flow is going back in through the bottom. And the other third quarter, whatever you want to call it, is coming back through the top here. And that top just um, recirculates back into the mesh tarn. So this pump is rated like 23 litres maximum or some crap, or 17 litres per minute at a three metre head. By the time it's come through these plumbing here, I get about 14 litres per minute real world. So I'm pumping about 4 litres real world back through the top and never turn back through the bottom. In the bottom here, oh, let's try to do all this one handed. I've got a bit of a false bottom I made up. The idea is just to keep the bag away from the heating element in the bottom chamber. So it's just an old pizza tray, a few slots. Don't really need to get fancy fancy because it's not a true false bottom. And a few legs, keep it up. So you can put the false bottom in. Then the bag just normally drops in like a normal brew in a bag does. Might try and do that one handed. Then you just put your return arm on do up the compression fitting normally but and that just lets the wall back into the top of but so like so that four is there and underneath in that sump area we're running about 10 liters idea now is since we've got good circulation going just use a standard little stc 1000 I want to get a bit more fresh, a pit. Then you just recirculate. You can do all your temperature mass, temperature steps for your mesh, anything you want to do, all the way up to mash out. When you mash out, simply just drop the return arm out the way. So it just pops out the way. Not too well because I'm recording. Grab the false bottom out, 
Obviously, you got your bag out the way. Fuck the main element on 100% cycle. And you got your bowl kettle running. So it's fairly simple, but gives you flexibility of step measures. So far, I've actually only run one brew on him. I hit 86.2% pre boil efficiency, so pretty happy. My main system, I hit about 85 all the time. So it's actually very good to get the same efficiency when I'm testing recipes here that I'll translate it onto the bigger system. But the only thing I do do, I've, when I do all the measurements, I'm doing a, run a 25 litre batch. So start with your 32 litres of water. Work down from there. Now, I don't actually add any sparge water because I want to keep it as simple as possible. But the only thing I do do when I lift the grain bag out, if you're not sure what I'm talking about with brewing a bag grain bag, there's many videos on normal brewing a bag. Look it up, B-I-A-B. -B so I just lift the bag out, drop it in a tub next to the brew system, let it naturally drain. And then if I need any more wort in here, pick it up to my 29 litre pre-boil level. I then just drain it from that bucket back in here. That way you get some efficiency out of it. And then, yeah, boil down to 25 and we're set. 2000 watt UXO element that's in the bottom there. Wouldn't mind a bit more grunt in the system. 2200, even 2400 watts at 240 volt would be a bit better for the system, I think. I ended up last time, I didn't quite get down to 25 litre level, to about 26. So I would like to push it harder, but that element will be staying there for now. Well, probably for a few years. So insulation I've kept pretty simple. Got, you know, your fitness mat. A couple of straps hold it together and a bit of this stretchy material. Don't know what it's called, but just saw it in the shop one day. It's like one continuous circle. Happens to fit a lot of our brain gear pretty neat. Just keeps a bit more air movement from him. Well, that's the system. Hope you like it. Hope it gives you a few ideas for building your own.